As you can hear, this thing sounds pretty fucking terrible. So we haven't been driving it. Still unsure what's broken. We checked all the valve springs except the back cylinder because that's next to the firewall and it's a real bitch. And everything checked out just fine. This thing's taken a lot of abuse over the past three or four years here. But thankfully we got something for it, didn't we? Yeah. We, we, we got a huge project ahead of us. That is true. Last year I announced that we were going to be doing the supercharger on this thing, but that ended up not panning out due to financial shit. But just to prove that we actually are going to be doing it this year, I want to show you the stash that we have real quick. Yeah. Stop looking at my ass! Don't make fun of my ass, what ass? So as you can see, the box says Whipple on it. I did many, many hours of research, and this is the one that I ended up picking. Everybody has their own opinions on this shit, but I decided to go with the Whipple, so. I think the whole shipping thing was like a hundred and some pounds, but. Is that both these boxes though? Yeah. Yeah. So this box has the supercharger itself in it. The other box has all the intake tubing, all the couplers, and a shit ton of other stuff. Yeah, we'll go through that here next. What is this, Christmas? A little bit. It's a little late, but you know. I haven't seen any unboxing videos for this generation of truck, so figured we'd do it on this one so some of you can see what you end up getting. I know the description's pretty vague on some of these, so hopefully this helps. It's got a parts list in there, so it's the filler T to pump hose, IC to HC hose, IC to filler tree or T, brake booster hose, EVAP hose, PCV hose, PCV vent hose, steam hose, filler T overflow hose. It's all on there. Anybody get an extra air filter? It's Whipple, $1,000. We'll just assume that's the intercooler. Oh look, it's a cancer reproductive harm warning from good old California. Thanks, Callie. Oh, here we go. This is the most important part of this whole entire thing. And a bunch of stickers and decals and shit. Yeah, you can put them on your hood for an extra 100 horsepower. Now yeah, here's a big old box. So we got this one, we got belts, wiring harnesses, a bunch of different hoses. Those are the quick connect ones. Intake tube. All the clamps you could want. Other miscellaneous intake shit. I'm likely going to be getting a pulley from Grip Tech since those ones do not slip. Brackets and shit. I think there's another L bracket here. Not sure what they're for, but they're brackets. Looks like it's for the pulleys. Or pulley or however that works. Where's Jack? He's the one that can explain all of this. Here's another bracket for you. Fuel rails? We're putting a return style fuel system in there, so we'll have to figure out how those work with that. This one says intercooler pump box so it's just the box there's nothing else in there so we're not going to worry about that one 
automatic belt tensioner to just one. It likely mounts to that other plate that we just looked at. So that's the entirety of the kit that you get from Whipple. There's also easily over a dozen other boxes over here. I got LS3 heads for it, a methanol injection kit, bigger radiator, lifters, push rods, 750 lift dual valve springs, pretty much everything you can get. All the gaskets. I even got a gauge pod that goes on the A pillar with a boost, fuel pressure, and air fuel ratio gauges. There's also too much to list, so. If you want to look at the whole list, check out the description. I'll put links to everything in there. No, I'm not being sponsored by anybody, unfortunately, but, you know. So that's what we've been up to. Our tentative date to have it finished is June 20th. So I'm going to try and keep up with the editing of the videos and get them out as we go. And we're actually going to be pulling the engine from this truck for unrelated reasons. Obviously you do not need to do that if you're just going to be doing the supercharger itself. When shit's broke you gotta fix it, right? So next time you guys see this thing, the engine will be out and on a stand. And hopefully we'll be making some good progress on it. I'm pretty excited about this one. What about you? Are you going to wreck it right away? Yes. Cool. I mean, it's going to be made to beat on, so hell yeah, we'll beat the fuck out of it and maybe destroy a few sets of tires or something, I don't know. Yeah, ignore those ugly wheels on it, by the way. I got my good ones sitting over there by the workbench. So, until next time, there's your update. And by the way, this is a new video thing. I don't know how the shot's going to turn out, so just bear with me. We can experiment together. You can tell me that you hate me, I don't really give a fuck Cause I already hate me more than you ever could Yeah, lately I've been drifting, I've been falling off the map I feel the stress, I feel the pain and smoke so I can stay in town